guys, welcome back to a brand new Instagram DM reaction video. Hi everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang, Sushan, the Scalding Hot Assam? What is the tea? Tastes like burning. Today, we are back for another episode of Instagram DMs. So thank you to everyone who does send me everything on Instagram to react to. You guys are crazy girls. So Thank you for following me on Instagram. Come send me things to react to and maybe you can be in the next video. So as I said, I never know what I'm going to get with these. Is it a tattoo fail? Is it a piercing gone wrong? Is it a fan art? Is it just a nice cute message? We never know on these ones. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me things. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And if you do enjoy the reaction videos, of course, as well, come follow me on Twitch, we do live reactions every single week We've got regarding a whole variety of gants. But anyway, let's not, let's not hang around. Let's, I don't know what's going on. Let's not beat around the bush watly and get on with these Instagram DMs. So this is from Zuzi and they have sent me this. So what is this? So this person is push your own limits. Push, wait, what is happening? Wait, what is happening? Wait, what? Oh my God, they're back. They've got... No, are you kidding? No, no. <gasps> oh my God. So you're going to die. Wait, wait, wait. So just look. So if you look here, let me hang a pause. If you see the, there's like tags going through the his back and then that's what's supporting the parachute. Oh. This is why women live longer than men. All men are stupid, okay? Okay, so this is from Sleepy Child, and they've said not not what I expected. Okay, so, okay, so what's breath. this? So this person's getting a belly button piercing. Still. Are they just like someone's? Are they just like a kitchen? Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Kitchen. Okay, why are they taking so long? Uh, what, what's going to happen? What, what's happening? So, that, come on, what's going on? What? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a so medic. Just, Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. That one, okay, no, that was definitely not what I was expecting. What? I love how the person getting the piercing is fine, but the, the mother's like, ah, I've died. She's dead. Wow. I mean, I hope she's okay, but what, what, what? That was not what I was expecting. Here we go, girls. Timbers. Oh my god dead now i'm dead so what is this so this is some aussie girls and they <gasps> wait what You're the most corrupt lowlifes in the history of civilization jail no trial jail Jail, jail, jail. No trial. Instant jail. Oh, God. What is it? What and why? It's going to get caught on your clothes and have keep fun keeping it clean. Everything about this is confusing and wrong. It's just like, so this person has a heart with, so they've got these like bioflex bars and it's one long thing through the entire side. Like it's here, like the side of their body, like it's here. One bar through the entire thing, like each side. And it looks like they've had this for a while. This doesn't, like normally when you look at corset piercings or piercing play, they do it and then take it out. This Kali has been in it for a while because look how red it is. It's so red and agitated. Like what? How did anyone think that was a good idea? How did anyone, the fact that someone did it to you to begin with this, well, how did anyone think that was a good idea? What are you doing now? You're gonna die, die, die with that bioflex bar in your side. You're gonna die, die, die. Oh, stop it. So I was also sending this. So what's happening? So July, wait, so they're getting a, they're getting, oh, this is, they're getting a surface, but they, but wait, what? <sighs> a curved barbell inside a surface piercing. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, everything. Oh God. Keloid girls. This person is getting a vertical helix, a uh, vertical trager, sorry. Like it's a surface piercing like here on the, almost like, almost the temple. And then, God. And they put a curved barbell. Why are we still putting curved barbells in piercing, in, in the uh, surface piercings? What? I can't even speak. My brain has turned to mush. Like I'm, I'm basically becoming these uh. twit, like TikTok bloody live stream people. AI, I've been like, mmm, <gasps> ice cream, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, ooh, roses, ooh, yum, yum, yum. Ooh, 
donuts, yum. Oh, ride me like a cowgirl. Oh, ride me like a cowgirl. Mm. Oh, thank you for the teddy. Oh, thank you for the teddy. Oh, mm, yum, 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 ice cream. Yum, 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 ice cream. Yum. This bitch is crazy. So I've also been sent this. This person is getting cheek piercings. Oh, dangerous piercings. Here we go. I'm going to die, girl. So take a blow. What's wrong with him? They're getting cheek piercings and... So, wait, is that the bar? That's the bar you're using. That's the bar. That's the bar you're using. That. That's the bar. Th that's the bar. That's the bar. I mean, I get the piercing swell, but that is obscene. Like, that's obscene. Obs. So, wait, 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 wait. So, that is how long the bars are. Like, all about here, right? So, at the end, you see her and she's like, Hello! Do you like my cheek piercing scale? I hate them. So the balls are like flat against the cheek, which means it's like this much bar on the inside. Like that, that's, that you're, you're biting down on them. Like there's no effort for them to go. Like you're biting down on them. Like, wow. Again, I get that piercing swell. I totally understand. And you need to have room for swelling, but that was obscene. Like this much, this much. Wow. Chompy wompy girls, buy tooth enamel, shippy whippy. <sighs> I really am becoming an AI thing, aren't I? Gout, gout, oh, gout, chippy whippy, chippy whippy, oh, don't use guns, girls, don't use guns, girls, don't use guns, girls. chippy whippy, chippy whippy, oh, gout, gout. What's happening? What the f uh. is happening? So this is from Chloe, and what is this? So there, <gasps> oh no, not one of these again. No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. There's too much music as well. No, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna have to blur a tiny bit of this, but essentially this person is hammering this nail through his ear. No, 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 no. I'm out, I'm out. God, if I hear that f***ing Macabar song one more time, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm actually going to die. You're going to die, going to die. TikTok and Reels, all the shit, they ruin music. I mean, it's not really something I'd listen to anyway, but like, if I just heard it, like, on a whim or whatever, it wouldn't annoy me so much. But I, like, the, the, the constant, repetitive, like, these, the constant, over and over again, these songs just used and used. It just, it, TikTok just destroys music. Okay, so this is from Sandy Girls. Uh, what the hell? Hello, cash for gold. <laughs> sure. Sometimes it's better to not just to say anything. Just be quiet. So, okay, so this is from Tanya Girls, and they have sent me this. So what is a when your piercer didn't put the belly button in the right place, and now I have to live. Oh wow, it's really hard. How do you get to that? Wait, what? Wait, 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 some woman talking here, wait. So this person wants to go get their belly button pierced and like they've done it really high up. So like it's not even near the belly button. Like how, what I don't, when I see things like this, I get really confused because that. The, the, what I'm thinking is like, did you not check it beforehand? Because most piercers, maybe, maybe, or maybe you just happen to be unlucky, but most piercers will like mark on the body where it's going to go and then they'll let you check to make sure that, you know, in case you want to move it more to the left or the right or whatever. But like to be this high up, I am so confused. Okay, so this says they look super cool, but there's no way their teeth aren't chipping high. Oh God, what? Jersey Devil Girls. Um, oh wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Gosh. And if you, hang on, let me pause there. It, there's music, so I can't play what, what the, they're just lip syncing songs. The thing is with this is like, if you look at their lip, it looks like it's so heavy that it's like making it droop a bit like this. Like it does, there's so many on there though. If this is how you want to live, fine. This isn't, this, I'm not actually coming for this person or being like gross or whatever, like it's absolutely fine. Cause like everything looks looked after, nothing looks disgusting or whatever. But like, <laughs> I love the way it's, these these brows are very like 90s, that like, goth. It's like the thinnest thing you possibly could have. Not, uh, <laughs> the brows are the 90s, but something else. The amount of lip piercings on the lip there. I personally, I don't understand how it's comfortable because I just, I, I just don't understand. I just, I physically don't really understand how that's comfortable, especially just talk and eat and do normal things in life. Like, I don't really know how many, how having that many on lip is actually very comfortable. If this is what you want. Good for you. Live your life, girl. Yes, there's a lot of lip piercings. It doesn't necessarily look like they're all, it looks kind of like some of them are, oh, I guess actually a lot of these kind of look more like in, 
It's hard to tell because it kind of looks like they're sort of like all vertical ones like in the front of the lips So like they're not going inside but yeah, I don't know So this is from Tanya as well and they have sent me so what what something for you to react to your next videos girl Okay, so what is this? So got my gum pierced. What? Uh, what? Oh, come off it. Got my gums pierced. Gummy wummy. Is that real? Hang on. Let, 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 me, just, let me just pause it so that we can actually see. So, do you think this is, there's like a piercing here and a piercing here? Do you think this is like stuck on? The idea of actually putting something like through like a, a slight gap in the tooth or like actually piercing through a gum is like the worst thing imaginable. Like the worst. Have you, can, could you actually think of anything worse? Could you think of anything worse? I was held at gunpoint. My mum being told she was dying. My German shepherd got killed on my driveway. My horse got killed outside my house on the dual carriageway. Harvey had a kidnap threat. Then I caught my husband cheating again. Why would you want this? What? I don't understand why, why would you? No, no. That don't be silly. Don't be silly. No, don't pierce your gums. No, don't be silly. So this is from Ray and they've sent me, wait, what? <gasps> oh, don't just whip out dermals. Oh no. Take this from me, it's so That's skin in there. Oh no, no, right guys, please. <gasps> oh, right, please. If you're gonna, if you have dermals and you wanna take them out, don't just rip them out. That is one way for infection heaven. I'm on the highway to infection heaven, girls. Choo choo, all aboard the infection train. <laughs> no, can we? This no. If you if you got piercings like this, whatever, and you want to take them out, please don't rip them out. That's re you can really f yourself up. Imagine if like you rip it in the wrong angle and like you end up where like the hook is right, the the anchor, so the long with the sticks underneath. If you sort of pull that in the wrong direction and pull it down or whatever, it could rip your whole skin open. Like don't don't just whip out dermals like that. It's not gonna end well. So this is from Valdra and they've sent me a YouTube link. I am piercing whatever this lands on. Oh God, are we still doing, oh how are we still, see again. Trends, do they home, don't. But this is the sharpest thing I have. I've got my tweezers. You're piercing yourself with that. sharp tweezers. Are you joking? This. So. You're gonna pi- oh! <laughs> Jail, go to- I was using it wasn't sharp enough. I beg Time your- <gasps> Why did I do this? Oh my god. Ah, uh, see, there we go. It's not real. You almost had me going for a sec there. You can't fool me. I, uh, you almost had me going then. You almost had me going. And then as soon as you put the ju the jewelry in, it was like, oh no, I can see that's not real. But again, piercing roulette. It, 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 again, we said it in like a video a little while ago. I find it insane that that, that, that trend is still going after like five years. It's weird. It's so weird. Trends, like it, it's non-stop now. Like the 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 TikTok generation of people that, that just cycle through things so quickly that you end up repeating things so often because they weren't around long enough, even though they're big trends because the, the cycle, this the cycle of life. I stand by what I said earlier on. The internet has ruined my brain. <sighs> Hello Alexa, thank you for sending me this. You've sent me, what would Jesus do? I'm sure Jesus would love to be in a human centipede. Oh, spot for Jesus. Jesus loved a good centipede. Oh, Jesus was the middleman. Oh, Jesus loved to be raw dogged on the last supper table doing the human centipede. Oh, God, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Jesus, sleepy child, what is this? <gasps> that can't be real. Imagine having a piercing through the end of your finger. What are you doing? What are you doing? Cocaine. Imagine having a uh, how to. Um, hello and welcome to how to. Today, how to die. I don't want to know that. Yeah, but it does look a bit raised here. I was gonna say maybe it's just like stuck on, but like this bit here actually looks raised. It does look raised. Rise from my skin. Out of my finger causing me to die. I bleed to death then I fall. Slowly black out. Wake up in hell. So this is from Wolfie and Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, what are you expecting? Knuckle piercings to end well? I don't think. We're all in shock. This is also sent to me as well. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I, this is what, dirty. Dirty. They look like the straight bars as well. They don't look like curved barbells. They actually look like the straight because it all looks raised. The whole bar looks raised. Ow. Crisscross round the belly button, girls. Time to die. I bled to death. I've been pecked to death by Bimini Bomboulash. Not a joke, just a fact. Jesus, what's happening in this ear? So I was also said, what, what's happening? Why is everything so big? 
Size queen girls. I love a big dick. Why is everything so big? What's happening? It looks like one of those sort of like fancy pantsy like art installations in the sky. You see, like like one of those mobile things you see on the sky, and like museums be like, oh, this is the constellation. <gasps> that was totally unnecessary. What's happened? But what's this? Why have you got one of those like labre? Cause this is so this is like a Lebre one of those sort of like Lebre stud uh, hoop things where like it goes in here, comes up and then comes around the front. But you've got it in your Traegers and these long ass bars in your low piercings and it just it's like Hello I want to be ripped out, girls. I don't think they'll like that at all. So this is from Riley, and they said, Hey, Riley, hey, girl. My partner and I are a huge fan of your work, and I'm constantly quoting your videos in, a, on, in our day today. Wonderful. I want to share this tattoo with you because it's unhinged. Thanks for making our queer days today much queerer and better. Thanks, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Love to you both. I, Jose, am getting a tattoo voluntarily on the July 2nd, 2019, so that I can earn my wife's trust back for the pain and suffering I have caused in our marriage. I am a liar cheater, manipulator, deceiver, whore, prostitute, lover, dishonest, and disrespectful. Something tells me this relationship is not going to work out. I want a divorce. So this is from Baby Ghoul, and they have sent me, what is this? So... Friends get back surface pierce, back surface piercings. Wait, and that was, that looked like curved barbells as well. Hang on, that looked like curved, she's putting in curved barbell. Why, why? Along the spine, like when you move and bend and move, like that's just gonna cut, like the lower back piercings, like when it comes to like the, where like the, you know, your hip bones were, like on the back as well, so like sort of round the back at each side. I've seen them quite a lot and they do them like horizontally or whatever, but like to have it like along the spine, vertically, when like you bend and you, you know, you move and you, yeah, but scream and shout and let it up. Like you do all that. Like that's just gonna come out. Like what is the point? I'm hoping that this was just for like, a bit of attention and you took it out because that's not going to end well. To be honest, most surface piercings are kind of silly to begin with when you look at them objectively. When you get wrist piercings, neck piercings, all this stuff, like you're going to catch them. The reason, like the reason surface piercings don't normally last is because they're in positions where they get knocked a lot. But there are obviously more risk areas than others. Your back is like the most, one of the stupidest places to do it because you're constantly going to hit that things when you get dressed. You're not going to be able to see it all the time, so you're probably going to forget it. It might be there, and you might knock it. When you're asleep, and you might lie on your back or your side, or whatever, and you might roll onto it. Like, it's really stupid. Service piercings generally are not always the best thing to get. But, like, if you're going to get service piercings, at least get ones that are kind of a little bit less knockable. So, this is from Kimberly Girls, and they have sent me... God, what's going on here? Wait, what's happening? What's... Oh, it's... Oh, music, no! She's trying to get me copyright stricken. Um, thanks, Kimberly. How could you do this to me? I mean, this is the... I think this is the person that had their friend and they, like, did, like, a fake pierce, like, corseting their face together. Like, obviously, this... You can see that it's not real. You can see that it's not real. But, like, sure. For a funny face, though, lol. Imagine if someone... Imagine if someone actually did this for real. They... Uh, imagine if someone actually actually did this for real. Imagine if it was real! I don't think they'll like that at all! So, this is from Oreo Key, and they have sent- Oh, what's this? Oh, what's happening? Oh, oh not Macabar again! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Dirty! Oh, dirty, dirty, dirty! Oh, God. As I always say, when you get piercings, you have to clean them! They look like this as well. They've got like a- like a divot here, like something- like there's another piercing here or something, and it's come out. God! Look how much d dirt is on that. Oh, and you're like embarrassed. I would be embarrassed. Like, obviously I'm a very clean person, whatever, but when I get new piercings, I'm always like so particular about people seeing them when they're in the slightly early healing process because they do kind of look gross, whatever. Like, so a bit sore and a bit wet. But like that, that's like, oh, because the hole itself actually looks clean. So it looks like they've just not washed their face. Like I don't, ooh. Would you be able to see that? that? Feels that feels quite long. Would you be able to see that? Like that that that's not because it's a new piercing heating. That's that I've just never cleaned myself. Disgusting. Do you not wash your face? No face washing. No. Do you not like to wash your face? No. No. <laughs> just dribbled everywhere. You're a hot mess. I'm 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 a mess. I'm anyone who's watching this video today. You're you're having a a, a real insight into my life because. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. We're all in shock. <laughs> I have gout. <laughs> Thank you, Elfin. Wonderful. I have gout, but I've also got six fingers. I've got gout. <laughs> Ooh. 
the idea for those who have 11 fingers and gout. I've got gout. <laughs> I've got gout. I want the world to know I have got hot scout. This video is unhinged. We're all in shock. So this is from Liz and this, so what are they doing? So I'm gonna open up, well, why is it not open? There we go. So POV, your parents wouldn't let you get your piercings. Your parents? Isn't this person like 20 years old? <laughs> your, what? Why are you doing, why are you? Jesus Christ, this is so, you did you did all of them yourself. Jesus Christ. It's the fact as well that when you see them like using needles and they're like shaking like this, shake crying and shaking. Oh wow. Oh, Jesus. Guys, please don't do this. This is really, really like like this is re you're just asking for trouble. Make it double. So this is from Kelsey Reeney, and they have sent me this. So what is this? This person is getting a Traeger's piercing. Ice spray? Ice? What? Ice? Ice spray? Is it? I guess that's just a numbing thing. Whatever. Sure. They're getting a Traeger's piercing. I'm guessing she sprayed the Helix as well. So I'm assuming she's going to get a Helix at the same time. So, okay. Well, finish one piercing first. Sure. I always find this weird when they do sort of this. Like, finish one piercing first, get that done, and then do the second one. Like, why? That to me, it's odd. I've had multiple. I've had times where I've had two piercings in one go, and you would never wait. This in some room. This is not even in a. I just realized they're not even like a piercing studio. It's kind of just like in someone's room. What? I find I don't like. Honestly, I don't like these sort of like. Uh, are these IV needles? Aren't they? I think it's what these are. Like with the tubes. I, d I never liked all these tube things because it just. It, I don't know. I've heard many piercers say that they're not great to use. But look, it's so much thicker now because if you look here, like it looks thicker. So as the bar goes in, the hole's going to get stretched. Wait, do the, I don't understand why you're like, like do the first one. Just do one first and then do the other one. Cause see now, like now it's sort of stretching a bit with other needles that I, the needles that I would normally use for mine would be the same size as the bar. So it's, wait, it's not like the, can you just, the, the way he's like rubbing all the hair and stuff. It's like really fiddling. You're going to, you're causing a lot of, also he's putting, he's putting a horseshoe bar to begin with. Don't do that. I don't like, this is giving me it. Cause there's so much like, Your this poor girl's poor ear. She, he's piercing like on the side as well, on the rim rather than the back of the ear as well. What an odd place to pierce that part, and then she's getting like an industrial. I just don't understand why he's like not just focusing on one piercing and then doing. I'm gonna do a little bit on here and then a little bit on here. Li with a little bit of this, I can make it through the night. Then doing onto this, I can make it through the night. You're not making it through the night with these because he's gonna be bloody painful. I just find it weird that he's like not focusing on one piercing. It's like, I'm gonna do a bit of this and a bit of that and you know, this and that and uh, this way, that way, forward, that was over the Irish gout. I don't understand like why. But like it's pierced strange. It's like pierced on the rim rather than the back. Sure. Have fun. So this is from Terran and this piercing roulette again. More piercing roulette. What's with this? I have a feeling these are all going to say effing Nazala. Wait, what? Is there sound? No, there's probably sound. Oh, there's sound. It, okay, so. It, it's horrible. A Nazalang piercing is not something to do on like a yeah. whim. Like that's there, there an- There's that... no way that's a Nazalang. <laughs> He's actually getting it. Wait. <laughs> I feel like he wanted this. Oh God. A Nazalang piercing is not something to get as like a ruler or like just a on a whim. Like that is a that is a This is like in a proper like intense piercing to get on like a whim. Like on the scale of like hardcore piercings to like that like low piercings on the lower scale. Nazalang piercings on like the far top scale of like piercings lot, right? to get. Like yeah. that's not something you get on like a whim. So I just want to give a shout out to Patty for the perfect nasal wow. line. It might be a little off, but you know what? First one done here, I can guarantee you. Jesus. Like candle, baby. That's the first one done. I, I don't want to be the first person. No, oh, I'm not. No. I got gout watching this. This is from Radmeg, and they have sent me this. So, what is this? So, get piercing. It's therapeutic. They say, oh, music, music. I'm going to get hopper Like, no, no, music, music. So, they're getting a nose pierce. It's, it's therapeutic, they said. Oh, God. The, why is people such a why do people have such aversion to gloves? I don't understand. Because I'm an idiot. I'm just forcing a bar through their nose. I don't understand. What is people's aversion? So, so what is this? So this is from Alex, and they have some, I have no words. So wait, what? Ear piercings tip for kids. No, what? Right age, three months to twelve. Imagine a three months. What? What's happening? 
This is this person a doctor? Gunshot, less painful, lesser chance of infection. That's that's not true. You're wait. You're are you a doctor? It says doctor. This person's supposed to be a doctor, and they've said traditional versus gunshot. Using a gun is less painful, lesser chance of infection. And you're a doctor, and you're saying that. Why is he like just? I don't understand what he's doing. I'm on drugs. Traditional is fine to make sure sterile and disposable needles are like. What? What do I know? Yeah, go on, just just use guns and rip your baby's ear open. Why not? Just go and take it. Why not? Well, three month year olds yeah, just rip their ear open with a gun. Why not? Yeah. I don't think they'll like that at all. I just want to read this about. It says I have questions. Seriously, a gunshot is safe because I came to know that a gunshot there is a risk of tissue trauma while getting your ears pierced with a gun. The studs that are inserted into your ear rip apart the tissue, but if it goes through the cartilage, it can it can shatter with blunt force. Exactly. And they've replied, true has to be done by experts to be totally safe. There's no safe There's no safe way of using a gun. It, it, that, that's, there's no safe way of using it. Doctors or jewelry shop people who are skilled to do this can do it without any serious cartilage damage. So you're admitting that you will have cartilage damage. So how is it safe? Don't lie to me. And when the gun's whipping through my ear, I'll get an infection. Too many syllables. And it's so because of you. So this is what's happening. So how not to get pierced. Wait, so they're... Wait, what was that? They had some pliers or something? Can you... Again, no gloves, touching the hair. Dirt, 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 dirt. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> and just forcing this, like, earring through someone's at shore. You're gonna die now. Jesus. So this is from, Je wow, Jess. Thanks for sending us, Jess. Wow. How do the thing is as well, is like this person actually looks like they've got quite a good rim here. So like you would actually be able to get a, a proper industrial bar. But for some reason they've gone, I really want it through the front and then through the flat because that seems like a good idea. No, it's not. Like, I'm sure this person didn't ask for this because the rim here actually looks quite big enough that like you could probably have an industrial with no stress. But like the pressure that there's gonna be putting on here, pulling it forward, like, how? A wizard did it. I don't understand how this was done. How has it been done? How has this been done to her? I don't understand what's going on here. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. No, someone explain to me, please. I don't understand. What's happening? Someone explain to me, please. Mmm, ice cream. <laughs> I was so god. I've seen so many videos now on Twitter of people going viral for the, doing this AI thing. And it's just in my mind now, like every two seconds, I'm just like, oh, thank you, yummy ice cream. Mmm, donut. Mmm, smelly roses. Oh, thank you. Mmm, mmm, ice cream. I can't take this anymore. So, this is also from Sandy Girls. And there's so bridge piercing. So, this person is. Oh, Sure, come on then. Here's your set card. Let's do it then. Ouch, girls. Ouchie, ouchie. It's wonky. <laughs> sure, wonky donkey. Wonky donkey. See what you see, wonky donkey. Solve the riddle and get guts. So this is from Parker Girls, and the, oh God, they, yeah, they sent me a snake eye. This is these kind of ones are insane because snake eyes obviously a lot more kind of more central. So it's like here, here. So that when you talk, they're kind of on the front. This, I mean, it's, I, I'm assuming this is probably still considered a snake eye. I always know, like, I'm always like, how far back does it go before it's called something else? You know, whatever. So like, it could be like a scoop piercing or frog eyes or snake eyes. Like sometimes I'm, I'm like, what was what? But this is ridiculous. Imagine having a bar, like, because that's really far back, fully through the like middle of your tongue like that. No, 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 no. Again. I've, I've gone on about this for years and years and years. If you get piercings like this, I don't feel sorry for you when your, chip, your, your teeth break, you can't speak, your tongue swells, and you die! I always knew I deserved to be dead. The idea that there's prof prof professionals out there doing this unhinged. Unhinged. The hell is this? So this is from Princess, and they've sent me... What's... Claire's stores. Book now. Pierced by Claire's. And there's... What the hell is all this shit? <laughs> Oh, this looks, what, oh, I've just got an ear cuff and I'm going to stick belly button bars to it, sir. Do you like my belly button ear cuff on the top? Yeah, cartilage, ear cuff, belly button. Oh, I say, I say, what's the language? What I love that they've turned comments off. They've turned comments off. You know when a thing like this turns their comments off, you know instantly what it means. 
You were roasted, girls. Roasty, roasty. So this is from Hannah, and they said, where did you get this? I love it. So as people know, if you watch me for a while, I am obsessed with The Simpsons. So I recently started getting some Simpsons comic books. There is this, um, so there used to be this place called Porno Alley, um, in, but just outside of Soho. It's not actually that anymore, but that was the name of it for reasons that you might be able to work out. But um, up from it now, there's like a comic book store, and I just started getting some like Simpsons comics. I've wanted to kind of like get into like comic world for a while. It's just like, in my mind, I was like, I don't need more crap to spend my money on. But obviously, as you know, I'm very obsessed with The Simpsons. Shock, surprise, horror. I bet you didn't know that, girls. We're all in shock. So I just started getting Simpsons comic books. So this is actually from a store in London. Although you can get them on Amazon. Do you actually have some more arriving? I bought some like some of the original ones like from like the 90s and stuff. So I managed to get a few of the old ones. I'm very excited to extend my Simpsons collection. So now comic books. I'm very excited. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> So what's this? So this is from Melon and they've sent me, th I got my gooch pierced at Claire's. Certainly not. I would love to find this hilarious and funny, but the th what makes me a bit upset about it is like teen hearts. And let's be honest, the people who go to Claire's is like young, like they're, it's like young teenagers. <laughs> it just feels a bit weird to be saying things like this for a store that's meant for like kids. Like it's bit, it's weird. So I, I want to find this funny, but it's it's just weird. So this is from April and they sent me this. Wow. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Have you got the key girl? Yeah, put it in. Hang on, let me get out of my ear first. Well, I mean, it's one way not to lose your keys, isn't it? Jesus, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's a bit cluttered, but I mean, nothing. sure, if this is what you want, live your life, girl. It, it's, yeah, it's a bit much for me, but <laughs> it does make me chuckle. Oh, we do have fun on this channel, don't we? Have a, oh, we have a laugh, wacky Carol. You don't have to be mad to watch this channel, but it helps. I should have let you die. So I was also sent this, so me after a long day of pretending to have piercings. Oh, she's like taking them all. I'll oh, see, this is good. See, I'd much rather people do this and stick them on with like eyelash glue or whatever. I'm not sure how this person stuck it on, but like the fact that it's on their tongue, how do they get to stick on their tongue? But sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what a wonderful way to not have them without doing them yourself. Before I got my nose done, like each side, I would stick them on with like, like uh, eyelash glue as well. So I think it's a great thing, great way to do it. So not only test piercings, but also just like, if you don't want to get it pierced, just do it like this. Say you have a job as well that doesn't allow you to have piercings. This is like the perfect thing to do to get around that. Get, you know, some studs, get some cone, like the spike cones, whatever. Get a bit of eyelash glue, put a tiny bit on it and just stick it onto your nose or your bridge or whatever you want to have them done. So this is from Kelsey. And so they've sent me this. Oh, wow. what an interesting piece of jewelry. So they've got like a snake. Is that a dermal? Okay, folks, here it is a glory. One of the kind sur surface snakes. I'm assuming it's a dermal. Is it, or is it like a, as a Lego in, in here? It's not really clear. It just, it just says surface snake. So like, is it is it like a dermal here? And this is kind of the, the jewelry? Or is it like a surface piercing where it's like in here and in here? And the bar just kind of goes over the top. I don't know. I'm a bit confused actually, but that's really cool. I love it. I love unique jewelry. We love to see it. I think it looks really cool. Love it. 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 <laughs> well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train speeding down the runway. Let's crash over a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye. Oh, and I'm back just like Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. What for Jesus? Oh, Jesus loved a good peach. Oh, yeah. Jesus was a bottom. Jesus was a piss pig. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Oh God, anyway, hello. Thank you for watching today's video. This has been a lot. I don't really know how, what, this is, I, I, I'm, I, I don't know what I was on today. Today has just been something. Today has just been a lot. And I don't know what's happened. So, and I actually really need to go for a pee. Oh, cause you needed to know. Um, thank you for watching today's video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Wow, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Today's Twitch shout out goes to It's David V1. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. And if you would like to be in with a chance of being in the next Twitch shout out, come follow me over on Twitch. It's Rolly West over there. Come some fun. We do live reactions every single week. I'm just getting on with the outro because I would like to know what this has been crazy enough as it is. Thank you to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are delicious. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Jennifer Herman, Zoe Severe, Heather McFarland, Christina Carr, Kyle, Benjamin Baker, I at Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thanks for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are 
delicious. There's a link down below as well if you'd like to become part of the Patreon family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, I really love your support. But anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bishop that tell you you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless. <laughs>